Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today I'll show you how to uh, import a Sentinel image into Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So in this video, we're going to uh, import a Sentinel 2A image into Google Earth Engine. So this is an official site. Uh, let me search by Sentinel. Now click the Sentinel 2A. So click the Sentinel 2A multispectral instrument level 2A. So to import the image, we are required to uh, use this code. So let me copy this. Now let me enter as var data set Now let me paste that code So double dot image collection So it is referring to sentinel 2a image So now uh, let me uh, choose my study area Now this time I will filter manually I will uh, choose the manual study area for this so For that Let me zoom in. So go to this option called draw rectangle. So now I will draw a rectangle. So after that, uh, let us filter it by a specific uh, time range. So here I have entered a code where image equals to dataset dot filter date from 2021 uh, January 1 January uh, to uh, 20. So similar, we are starting from uh, 1 to 20th of January. So in this way, we are filtering a uh, temporal filtering. So now. Uh, so now uh, make, let me make a little change here. So var data. So next uh, we're going to filter it by using our boundary. So this is our manual boundary. So I'm going to filter the image using our this boundary file. Using this geometry var uh, variable called geometry. Now let me enter that. So here I have defined a variable called dataset, a variable called dataset equals to data filter bound. So we are filtering by the, with our boundary file geometry. So this uh, this file here that it refers a geometry. So where uh, geometry is a multi polygon eight vertices. So these are the our boundary uh, filter boundary. So I had defined a variable dataset equals to data dot filter bound geometry. So geometry refers to this variable. So that is the defined for our boundary. So dot select band two, three, four, and five. So now let me explain the, these. So in Sentinel 2A image, we have a band two that is a blue, green, and red, and red edge. So here we have filled our next is a dot filter dot data set so we defined a variable called data set equals to data dot filter bounds so we are filtering with the boundary file that is this boundary file that is referred as here geometry so here the geometry refers to the multi polygon eight vertices now dot select band two three four and five and dot first data set so the far result uh, the first result of that uh, satellite image will be displayed the next is print data set. 
So now uh, let us run this. Go to this option called uh, Run Script. So in the console section, it is displaying the details of the Sentinel 2A image. So we have the type, it is of image and image ID version. So bands. So we have a uh, band 0, 1, 2, and 3. So band 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let me show you this bands. So band 2 refers to this blue, that is 10 meter resolution, and band 3 is a green, that is of 10 meter resolution. Similarly, band 4, 10 meters resolution is red, and band 5, it is of red edge, that is of 20 meters of resolution. So here we have our image properties. We have 81 different image properties. So let me show you this. Cloud shadow, cloud coverage. So now uh, let us uh, add this layer. To add this layer, type map dot add layer equals to data set. So I have in this case I have chosen a large, uh, it's a bigger uh, area. Now let me show you the uh, for this. Let me show you a smaller area. So let me minimize it. So let me uh, take this polycart lake. So now uh, let us run the script. Go to this option called run. Run this. So now uh, you can able to see that I have chosen the study area, but only this uh, this particular date from uh, January uh, January 1 to January 20, we have only uh, one scene is available for this particular area. So now let me uh, increase my uh, timeline. Let me set to December 12. So our timeline has changed from. So I have changed the timeline from 2021 January 1 to 2021 December 31. Now let me uh, search this. Let, let me run this. So reset. So let me run this. And also similarly, I will reduce the study area. Let me. Uh, let me try once more. So, click this. So now you can able to see that uh, we have only uh, the scene available for this area. So now let me uh, go to this layer. Band five. Let me choose a false color composite. Now let me zoom in. So you can able to see that uh, the last part of our study area has been covered. Only a few of this area has been not covered here. So and also this image is of uh, mostly of, uh, it is of uh, cloud contaminated. That is highly cloud contaminated. We can also filter is using uh, using our filter uh, functions. So now uh, let me choose another false color composite. Go to this option called layer. Go to this option called setting. And let me choose band 4, band 3, and band 2. And click uh, custom, so it is in, and uh, click apply.
So uh, this image is now in true color composite. So it is a uh, you can see it is a major, major part of the satellite image is highly contaminated with clouds. So uh, we can able to see this river uh, river path and few lakes. And even the Pulikat lakes are uh, so this is a Pulikat lake. So so in this video I have shown you how to import a Sentinel 2A image into a Google Earth engine and how to manually choose our study boundary and uh, for that particular satellite image so, so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel terra special and give us a like